Yep, it's beat science. You producers have butterfingers. Watch the video, see him make another banger. YouTube Barry's beats and find your one. He'll show you how to tighten your hi hats and drums. And for me, Craig G, aka the Kingpin, I tell you Barry's beats will have your arms swinging. They hate when producers don't come equipped. So Barry, we'll show you how to do it legit Craig G, Barry's Beats form the ultimate alliance So please show these people out here your beat science science, science. Hey, thanks for coming back um, Well, as we discussed in the first video We're talking about, well, what I've called fake breaks If you can come up with a better name, stick it down there Because it's, it's not the best name But uh, it kind of does describe what I'm trying to do here Which is faking the funk and... Uh, creating my own breaks and old organic 60s and 70s sounding recordings just using the computer, the door, and plugins and virtual instruments. So, as I said in the last video, probably the most crucial element in getting an authentic sounding fake break is the sound of the drums. So, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of a punt here and I'm going to put my fake breaks to the test. I'm going to play you four breaks four four bar drum breaks now you've got to try and detect which ones are fake breaks and which ones are real breaks we'll see if you can guess which one was played back in the days with a drummer and which one was played inside the computer on the keyboard here we go Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you spotted break number one, then give yourself a biscuit because oh, that's the only real break. The other three are all fake breaks, um, all done in different styles using different virtual drum kits. So let's have a look at a couple of those breaks and see how I made them. Now, the first one we're going to look at, I use the Abbey Road 1970s drum kit. Now Abbey Road have made uh, a number of drum kits. They've made a vintage one, a 50s one, a 60s one, a 70s one and an 80s one. We won't talk about the 80s one. Um, and they are really good. They're very well detailed uh, uh, drum kits. If you, I'll put a link to a, a, a video showing how they were made. But basically they've just taken, like most of these uh, virtual drum kits, they've taken an old vintage drum kit and they've multi-sampled it. So that means every drum on the kit and cymbal has been hit at different velocities and um, multi-sampled. So when you replay it, you can play it at the same velocities you would be playing it with your sticks. So let's delve in to the Abbey Road 70s drums and have a look at these ones that I've made. Okay, so here we are in Abbey Road 70s drummer. As you can see, it's a lovely looking kit. There's actually two multi-sampled kits in the 70s drummer. There's the open kit and the tight kit. Now I've used the open kit in this one, but the tight kit is also fantastic. So all the elements of the kit have been meticulously multi-sampled. Here we go. And you can play them out on the keyboard. So there you go, there's the sounds. And um, that's just a starting point. The real fun with this is you've got to get under the hood of the kit and mess around with all the different editing features. So if we look here, you've got the mixer and this shows all the mics that were involved in miking up this kit. So you've got the kick mic, snare, hat, 
toms and also you've got two overhead mics and a room now by messing around with the mic positioning you can get different sounds and i mean this is the key to all this kind of um, recreating drum breaks it's all to do with just messing around and keep going with the editing until it starts to sound really fat and really authentic so you've got all the different mic positions now let's have a look at the snare there's a snare okay we'll solo this and we'll show you all the different things you can do. you've got eq so you take the eq off flat gives it a bit of snap now this is great this is a transient master now this creates like a snap to the drum so i've got a quite a high attack which is quite a sort of snappy sound so if you take it off as you can hear it's not got that real snap so and the sustain is how long the transient lasts. So you mess around with that. Compression, obviously we know about compression and tape saturation it's got built in. So I tend to whack it all the way up. I mean, that's the thing, just don't be subtle. If it says tape saturation, just whack it up. Um, so yeah, basically that's that's it. You, and you do the same for all the different uh, elements of the kit. And also with the overhead mics, let's solo both the overhead mics and hear what the drums sound like. Um, where's the pattern? This is the pattern I've played. And now let's bring in all the different elements. So the kick. So there you go it's all about messing around with all the different settings um, but that's really just uh, stage one getting the drums sounding great in your virtual drum kit um, but as we said there's three stages usually to getting these uh, fake breaks sounding convincing uh, the second stage is your programming now to be honest because of the nature of these drums being multi-sampled um, and using different velocities they sound quite live, even if they're just quantized to 16 sometimes. But uh, yeah, I tend to put a bit of swing on on the drums. With these drums, let's have a look what we've got. I have used 54% um, swing. I think I've quantized them originally all to 16s and then put a 54% swing. And, you know, they sound pretty funky as a listen. Of course, you know, you can extract drums as we've seen before in uh, Ableton. If you look at my uh, previous videos, there you go. Um, that will show you how to extract drums. But, you know, I like to program the drums in. And what I'll tend to do is I'll, I'll tend to quantize the main drums. But then when I add little paradiddles and little extra bits and rolls, I'll probably do them live or just move them around. And obviously you can just move any of these drums around just to give it more of a live sound. OK, so... That's the programming. The third stage is the processing. Now, we've been listening to the drums with the processing, but I'm gonna take all the processing off now so you can hear them just as they're coming out of the Abbey Road virtual drum kit, so. Okay, so as you can hear, they're probably a little bit clearer and more defined, but we don't want clear defined drums. We need to try and degrade them somewhat to give them that authentic sound. So let's have a look what we got. We got the first thing is a bit reduction plugin uh, called Decimal 2. There's lots out there that will all do a similar job. There's some good ones just in the, the effects for uh, Ableton, but I've used Decimal. There's a lot of different settings. So let's have a little listen with the bit reduction on. So we'll highlight it and and off now what i find with the bit crushing is it does something magical to the hi-hats now i've always felt that hi-hats with drums are usually a bit of a giveaway because for some reason when you listen to old breaks the hi-hat they're nothing more than just sort of like little spits of frequency they, they're they not very defined and this does take a bit of the definition away from the hi-hats leaving them sounding a little bit more just like sort of 
sizzly um, and less sort of like you're in a room with an actual drum kit. So I like the decimal on that and obviously if we drive it more you can really take it down to those sort of things but you're not looking for that. Just looking for something like that just to degrade the hi-hat a little bit. Uh, next up we've got this is a free plugin it's isotope vinyl let's open this up and I just put a bit of wear on this um, you can go over the top of this but again this is just something that degrades the sound a little bit let's have a listen with and without In fact, there you go if you put the wear up it's a bit too much so I'll just put a little bit on there set to 1970s you can set the different years next to compressor what compressor we used oh, I think I've just used one of the native instruments ones so let's have a listen with and without right without with so obviously we've used a bit of compression inside the Abbey Road drum kit but I, I also like to just put a nice compressor over the whole drums because that's probably how it would have been recorded back in the day. So we've got that compressor. And finally, what have we got here? Uh, we have got uh, this this one here, which is um, it's basically a vinyl emulation from Abbey Road uh, Waves plugin. And again, you can mess around with the different settings and it just does something. I can't quite describe what it does, but it just gives it again a bit more degradation a bit more saturation um, let's have a listen without with there you go so that's the processing so we've got four different elements of processing on there and obviously we've edited the drums inside the abbey road 70s drummer so all in all, we got the right sound in the end. And it's just fun. I just love messing around. You know, it's almost like you've got a wizardry kind of power to create your own drum breaks, things that I've been digging and trying to find for years and years. Now I can make and manipulate my very own drum breaks. Fantastic. Without spending like 50 quid for some rare 45. Um, so let's have a listen to one of the other breaks that I played at the beginning. Um, and this one was done in, well, probably my favourite virtual instrument I have in my computer. It's absolutely amazing. It is called Addictive Drums 2. And it's got so many different drum kits. I mean, whereas with the Abbey Road ones, you've got the 60s and 70s and there's a couple of drum kits. You've got a huge selection of drum kits with the Addictive Drums. And the editing is on another level. You can literally make the drums sound almost however you want them to sound. So let's open up that session and have a look at the Addictive Drums break. Okay, so here we are with our session uh, with the Addictive Drums. Let's remind ourselves how these sound. There you go. It kind of remind me a little bit of uh, of the meters sort of sounding drums. These ones definitely got more of a late 60s sound to them. Um, so let's have a look at addictive drums. Um, first of all, let's have a quick look at all the different kits available. I mean, you've got all these ones here. Uh, Fairfax drums, vintage dry, black velvet, jazz drums, prog drums, black oyster. There's a funk drum kit there. So many, and these are all the presets, you know, it just goes on and on and on. But then these are just starting points because I'll start off by finding a preset that I like the sound of, and then I'll just go into editing it. So I've selected the drums I like, which started off as Modern Jazz Bundle Rare Recording. So let's have a little listen. We got lovely kick, as you can see kicks there. Snares there. and. Just like the Abbey Road drums, we've got basically a mixing desk and you've got your separate mics for the different elements of the kit. With your overhead, there's only one overhead on Addictive Drums and the room mic. And to edit each one, you select it there. So let's take the snare like we did last time. And look what we've done to it. Um, you can swap the snares. There's so many different snares here that can be selected. Let's have a quick listen. We've got the Ludwig Acrylite, but 
flick through and there's just so many different snares so with this one each element can be swapped and combined to make sort of a completely original drum kits up so we started with this one and then you've got all these different fantastic things we can edit now with the snare you can affect the top and the bottom so the mic it at the top of the bottom again gives a different sound so i've gone for more of a top mic sound there the snare buzz is basically the sound of the sort of I don't know, trap wire things underneath the snare this works out when the kicks being played and it'll sort of rumble and make a snare buzz now here's the thing i think is most amazing and magical in addictive drums too it's the noise parameter now you can select different parameters i'm not sure what jb is so it's not james brown but direct current muff and here we go vinyl you can actually put a bit of vinyl crust on each element of the drums so let's have a listen so i'll put it right up obviously that's a bit extreme and also you can set a decay to how long the uh, vinyl sound carries on for so obviously that's a long delay you don't want it too long just like that and turn it down so it's more subtle without pretty clean you just want that little little element of it because we'll put a bit of vinyl noise on everything and it all adds up and just gives it that raw straight off a 45 sound um, then you've got compression and this is distortion here so you can set different distortion levels eq obviously again we've got tape saturation so as you can see i've driven it pretty hard with the saturator um up here pitch now i do find with a lot of these drum kits i tend to pitch them up for some reason um if we listen to it at its normal pitch it just sounds a bit flat and low to me i always like to sort of uh, pitch it up a bit and obviously you can tune that with your music um so that's your pitch oh this is quite good you've got volume envelope so you can shape the sound of the drums here so i've got it like this but you can take this all the way down to kind of shape the envelope of the drum so you can have a lot of fun there but just like before it's literally all about just having fun messing around until you get the sound sounding really raw this is a cut here so you can take a bit of frequency off the top which is good again because we all know those old recordings didn't have as much high frequency um, then effects here we've got a plate reverb and i've got to say the reverbs in addictive drums i don't know how they do it but they combine so nicely with the drums they really do sound amazing um, so we've got a bit of plate reverb on there and you can affect that with the uh what was it the effect sends here so and there you go and obviously you do the same for all the different elements the kick again the noise sounds great on a kick so a bit of vinyl noise and you've got this nice thing where you can get a more boomy sound by miking it at the front or a punchier sound miking it at the back um so literally just mess around with the sounds till you get them sounding raw and you know when you're happy with the sound in the kit well, just get busy programming some uh, some drum programs. Um, and obviously we discussed drum programming with the last drums and you don't have to go too extreme, you know, a bit of swing, um, but just do it until it feels right. Or alternatively, as I said, extract a drum break and see where you go from there. Um, so next up, well, I've been playing these with no processing on. So I've taken the processing off this time. And so let's have a look down here. What have we got in the way of plugins? We've got the Decimort again, which is a bit crunching. Um, so let's turn that on now. A and B it. As you can see, it's done the same thing with the hi-hat. It's just taken the sort of detail out of the hi-hat, which is what we want. Um, okay, we've got a tape saturator here, the Kramer tape saturator. Um, drive it a little bit um, tape saturation obviously is your friend when it comes to creating these uh, authentic sounding vintage recordings um, and what else Let's shut that one we got compression 
again obviously we've compressed it inside addicted drums but also we've got a bit of a uh, Fairchild emulation here the plug child over the whole mix which is great and finally last but not least I think I've put the Abbey Road uh, vinyl uh, emulation in again so with all those together it sounds like this opposed to without any processing it's sounding like this still sounds good but you know the processing just gives it that final little push into the world of vintage so there you go all right what i'm going to do for you now is i'm going to be really generous as a starting point i'm going to show you uh, screenshots of the settings that i've come up with in addictive drums so if you go and purchase addictive drums you'll basically be able to use the same settings as me and get the same sounding drums to start off with so so what you'll have to do is you'll probably have to pause youtube to copy these so i'm going to go through them quickly but get your finger ready on the pause if you've got addictive drums okay here we go kick setting snare setting hi-hat setting tom setting actually i didn't really mess with the toms overhead setting and room setting there you go and if we go to the effects that's what i got to set up for the effects and the actual um, drums i started with with a modern jazz bundle so there you go that's that one and i'll do the last break in the four breaks that i played at the beginning i'll get them up now and again i'll show you the settings for those okay so this is the other drum break this one here so these are the settings for these drums uh, we've got the kick this one obviously pay attention to which one I've used up here I think again I must have started with the modern jazz bundle rare recording but I've definitely changed some of the kit elements here so um, let's start with the kick there you go snare hi-hat as you can see I've uh, not used the mic for the hi-hat it would have gone straight straight to the overhead um, we won't bother, bother about the toms and we'll look at the overhead room and you can see that set there for the effects bus which is a plate again so there you go there's a couple of uh, barry presets to get you going on the incredible addictive drums uh, virtual drum kit and start recording your own fake breaks okay so there you go fake drum breaks um all made solely in the computer and that's just the tip of the iceberg you know you can make so many different sounding breaks it's it's almost limitless in fact uh well you you can hear what i've done with these on uh, the b-side of my new album two sides of barry where basically the b-side is 100 percent non-sampled so not a single sample and that's including drums all the drums you hear on the b-side are all made in these programs using the uh, principles and the techniques that i've been demonstrating here and i've also created a, a little sample pack which is available on my Bandcamp, where i've got some different loops and for all those loops i've isolated the different kit sounds as well at different velocities so if you're not quite ready to step into the world of fake break making and purchasing addictive drums and abbey road drums and all that you can get started uh, with the uh, sample packs that i'm putting up on my Bandcamp. so feel free to fill your boots with those and obviously uh, no copyright just just use them in your own compositions uh, so that's drums uh, dealt with and obviously the most important factor in building one of these types of tracks uh, the next video the final video in this little uh, series of uh, fake break tutorials is well it's something I've already done and put out there um, which is Barry's Drama Suite, which is basically I composed an underscore for uh, one of my recent videos. In fact, the last video I put out, which was the one pound beat digging challenge. If you haven't seen it, here you go as a link. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, but for that, I created my own soundtrack, sort of like a music library, KPM DeWolf style um, library accompaniment that I composed again solely in the computer 
using these plugins. So there's a link below in the descriptions to check that out. And um, yeah, in the next video, I'm going to be breaking it down and telling you about all the other elements that were involved in uh, making some of those tracks. OK, so see you in the next video. Cheers. Educate the masses on this beat science. Barry's Hall of Beats. Watch Barry's Beats when he's up in the lab. Give a little like and a thumbs up. Barry's Beats will have your arms swinging. And, and if you could just press the old subscribe button. See you on the next episode of Barry Science.